Denver is starting out the year with record low inventory. We haven't had less than 3,000 homes for sale in the Denver metro area since we started keeping records in 1985. I'm Amy Cesario, a realtor with Compass, and this is my Denver view. Let's dive right into the numbers. December 2020 ended with about 2,000 homes for sale. Our average for the month is almost 13,000, and our highest was 24,000 in 2006. There were a little more than 1,300 single-family homes for sale, down almost 61% from last year, and about 1,200 condos, down almost 27% from last year. Interest rates hit an all-time low December 24th at 2.66%. Purchase applications were up 26% from last year. Refinance applications were up 124% from last year. And in November, the housing permits hit 137,000, which is about 9% from the highest permit issuance since uh, September 2006. The average increase value in the metro area is 13.47%. Single family homes were up 17%, condos and townhouses up 4.81%. Now I thought these stats were particularly interesting. For every one person leaving Colorado, there are 1.75, almost two people moving into Colorado. One third of the homes listed right now are currently priced over a million dollars. The historical average decrease of active homes for sale from November to December is 14.5%. This year, we had 25.5%. We could feel it. In December, COVID was predicted to be the highest rate of transmission and the deaths. So people stayed home, they weren't traveling as much for the holidays, and they just decided this was not their time to sell. Home buyers are bringing more money for their down payment than ever before. Down payments increased by almost 67% from what they were putting down in 2019. What's going to happen in the Denver housing market in 2021? It's always great to sell when there isn't any inventory. What is essential is to have an experienced agent like me who knows how to navigate what's happening in the market at any given moment you decide to sell. Only putting your house or your property in the MLS right now is not acceptable to get you the highest price possible. This is no time for mistakes. You need to be represented by a real estate agent who knows how to negotiate, who knows how to market on social media. There are a lot of people pretending to be investors or home buyers who will try and take advantage of you or your parents. You need to pay attention. We are in extreme times where experience and trust matters. In previous years, we could sort of predict what was going to happen based on last year, but we have a few influences that we've never seen before. First is the pandemic, and second, we are continuing the political unrest. I do know for sure that when we have low inventory, prices go up. Not only do we have extremely low inventory, but we have extremely low interest rates, making it even more affordable for first, second, and third time home buyers, not to mention to be able to afford a second and a third home. The demand is extremely high. Are we going to have a crash in the Denver housing market soon? The question of a crash continues, but if people are bringing a lot of money for their down payment and the inventory remains low, we will see increasing prices. The crash 10 years ago happened because one, people didn't have enough equity and, or, and a down payment, and we had record high inventory, so completely the opposite of what we're seeing right now. We're not gonna see the same thing unless we see a sudden flood of inventory and everyone takes out all of the money that they have invested in their homes. I do not see Denver having a housing market crisis in 2021. Want to talk about your personal situation? I'm happy to listen, and if you need, I'll offer some potential solutions. Message me so I can help you. I'm Amy Cesario. My number is 303-995-3180.